so today in this lecture we are going to discuss the measurement of uh, blood pressure or the clinical method of uh, measuring the systolic and diastolic uh, pressures basically the blood pressure consists of systolic pressure and diastolic pressure and we have discussed again and again that the difference between the systolic and the diastolic readings was known as pulse pressure pulse pressure we also discussed the we also discussed the a transmission of the pulse pressure and we uh, discussed different factors which was basically affecting the uh, pulse pressure and uh, then the damping of the pulse pressure but it's very much important to measure the uh, the systolic pressure and the diastolic pressure in a clinical setup so for that thing the most common method which you must have heard about or you must have seen somewhere that is used in the clinics or in the homes is the auscultatory method is the auscultatory method of measuring blood pressure os now in this method the patient is basically uh, sitting in a chair comfortably must have rested for a while and a blood pressure cuff is taken and is basically applied on the arm of a patient now this is basically the arm of a patient and this black color is basically showing the cuff of the blood pressure inside the cuff of the blood pressure is a bladder which is filled with air with the help of this pump when the bladder of the this cuff is being filled the pressure that increases inside this cuff is recorded with this meter ideally this whole setup is uh, this uh, blood pressure measuring um, device is basically known as sigma manometer now when the pressure inside the cuff is increased basically the this pressure is applied on the blood vessels which is carrying the blood this is is the blood vessel and it is taking the blood now before before the pressure is increased a stethoscope is placed here and a doctor is wearing the stethoscope and he is listening to the sounds that are coming from this blood vessel ideally this is a brachial artery as long as the pressure has not been increased no sounds are heard from this uh, uh, through this stethoscope when the blood pressure when the pressure in the cuff is increased and it reaches the level of 80 some sound starts coming from this blood vessels and when it is increased more than 120 in a normal person then the sounds disappear again ideally the blood pressure is taken above the ideally the blood pressure uh, sorry ideally the pressure is the cuff is taken more than 120 mm of mercury and then slowly the pressure from this uh, this cuff is released with the help of this nor when the pressure is slowly and gradually decreased now we had increased this uh, the pressure in this sigma manometer above 120 and this pressure was enough to collapse to completely collapse this blood vessel now this is normal blood vessel but by increasing the pressure in the cuff we have collapsed the blood vessel and no blood will be flowing through it so no sound will be heard with the help of stethoscope now as soon as the pressure is decreased or released the the pressure in this cuff starts gradually decreasing it starts gradually decreasing and when uh, when the pressure in the cuff reaches the level of 120 mm of mercury in a normal person we are talking about a normal person in a normal adult person when the pressure reaches around 120 this systolic pressure this systolic pressure is able to uh, is able to push the blood through this vessel it is now able to push the blood vessel and the blood vessel starts opening only in the systolic pressure and the systolic pressure is when the heart is actively contracting or the heart is in the systole 
so here a sound is being heard that is taping the sound is taping and it is only heard in the systole now is as soon as the pressure is decreased more and more the pressure is increased more this taping sound becomes harsh sound these sounds are basically known as korokov sounds korokov sounds or korokov sound whatever you pronounce it but this sound these sounds basically starts at the level of 120 mm of mercury and they are tapping initially tapping in character then as soon as the blood pressure uh, the pressure is in the cuff is gr decreased gradually the character of the sounds become a bit harsher then with further decrease in pressure in the cuff with further decrease in pressure in the cuff and these sounds become a bit loud and clear with further decrease in pressure in the cuff the sound become muffled initially taping in character then harsh in character then loud and clear finally they become muffled and finally they disappear the the point at, at which these st sound starts uh, being uh, the, the the point at which these sounds start or the the point at which you are or the doctor is able to listen to these sounds the tapping sounds the this point is known as basically the systolic pressure this is the systolic pressure but the point at which the sounds disappear the point at which the sounds disappear this is basically known as the diastolic pressure and this normally this pressure will be around 120 120 by 80 mm of mercury where 120 will be systolic and 80 will be diastolic this is some uh, thing which we are talking about in normal human beings in abnormalities in people with high blood pressure these values may change and uh, this basically this method of measuring the blood pressure is not 100% perfect because you need a perfect pressure cuff you need a perfect stethoscope you need a perfect sphygmomanometer and you need a, a trained person who can listen to these sounds carefully and is able to identify the initial sound and the silence at exact points so this is not a 100% perfect but this is basically a clinical method you can easily use it this this method in the clinics and at home and the to summarize the this clinical method or the auscultatory method for measuring the blood pressure initially you uh, you pump the air in the blood pressure cuff and you raise the pressure more than 120 when there is no sound being heard with the help of stethoscope then you slowly and gradually start decreasing the pressure in the sphygmomanometer the initial sound which you uh, listen will be the systolic blood pressure and find uh, gradually the 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 character of the sounds will change and finally they will disappear the point these sounds gradually disappear or the the, the point at which krokov sounds are uh, disappear that is known as the diastolic pressure so that's all about the clinical method of measuring the systolic and diastolic pressure or the clinical method of measuring the blood pressure thanks a lot for watching the video